it's Josie here at Sir Plains a lot. How are you doing? Um, so I actually originally did film an intro for this video, but I somehow managed to accidentally delete it. <laughs> and um, since the video is supposed to come up today, I just figured I would do a little quick and dirty intro for you just using my phone. I've got COVID, I'm not feeling great, but let's get this over with. <laughs> So basically what's happening today is that I'm taking you with me on a journey and that journey is trying to get rid of fungus gnats because I had quite a bad infestation of them and uh, since my experience with thrips predatory mites was so successful, I decided to try predatory, well not predatory mites, but beneficials for fungus gnats as well. In this case they are uh, fungus gnat beneficial nematodes, they're not insects or whatever they were for thrips. <laughs> so it's a little bit different this time around, but um, yeah, I just wanted to take you on the journey with me and show you how the solution is prepared and the instructions that you have to follow and all that kind of stuff. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you whether it works or not. So I hope you enjoy and let's jump into the video. Hello. So the time has come to make some nematode soup. This will be the main ingredient that we're using today. Um, it is called the Steiner Nema Feltier. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but here it is. So I received this a couple of days ago and I have been keeping it in the fridge because you're supposed to apply these either um, on a gloomy day when it's raining um, or in the early evening because the nematodes don't do well with direct sunlight and I have grow lights on most of the day, so I didn't want to risk it just in case. So it is now evening time, so I'm gonna apply these. Just like with the Thrips uh, predatory mites, I also have a list of instructions here. So this is supposed to uh, be big enough for about 50 plants, which is how many plants I have around here, more or less. So when you first receive this, you're supposed to store it in the fridge until it's ready to use and then um, use all of it at once because they are living creatures. This little packet needs to be diluted in one liter of water and then that concentrate needs to be diluted in a bigger <laughs> amount of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm using, um, can you see me? You can't really see me. <laughs> So I'm using filtered water here because I'm gonna use this on all of my plants and uh, some of my plants are quite sensitive to unfiltered water. So that's why um, if your water is fine, you don't have to do that. But um, yeah, I'm going the extra mile. Okay, time to make some nematode soup. So that's one liter of water here. So let's put these bad boys in now. This is what it looks like. Don't really see anything, but I'm kind of glad that I don't see anything. <laughs> anyway. Time to do some mixy mixy. So this is officially nematode soup. So I'm now gonna divide this in half and add water to the rest of the container. Um, you, one of these sachets uh, is good for up to 10 liters of water. So I'm gonna make 10 liters of water because you know, might as well. <laughs> ready. So the plants that I've brought over here, those are the ones that need to be watered um, today. So I'm gonna water those 
with this baby full on and then because you need to use this solution pretty much as soon as possible uh, because I'm scared that it's not gonna be effective if I use it well not today then I'm gonna go around the house and give every single little plant that doesn't need to be watered today just a little little bit of the solution in the pot so that everyone has at least some nematodes um and yeah let's see how it goes did you notice the glasses cool aren't they <laughs> So I still have uh, this much of the forbidden soup left. I have given every single plant in the house at least a little bit of the nematode juice. So the rest I'm just gonna use when I need to water more plants. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be effective, if it's still gonna be, you know, if they're still gonna be alive, but I'm gonna keep it um, in a cold room so that hopefully they don't die immediately. Also, I'm gonna put out some uh, yellow sticky traps uh, and then change them after a week to see if there is any difference between the first week and the second week in terms of how many adult... I almost said thrips, in terms of how many adult fungus nests are flying around. So I'm gonna put these out and let's wait a couple of weeks and see whether it actually worked. Hello! So it has officially been three weeks as of today since I applied my beneficial nematodes for fungus gnats. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by saying has there been a significantly lower number of fungus gnats flying up my nose the past three weeks? And to that I would say yes. However, have I noticed fungus gnats disappearing altogether? No. <laughs> so let's dive into it a little bit, okay? So as you saw previously in the video, I only drenched some of the plants fully in the fungus gnat solution, fungus gnat solution, nematode solution, um, and the rest of the plants, I just gave a little bit of a drink of the solution. But then what I don't think I did film was the next day I watered some of my other plants, with the leftover solution that I had, but it still wasn't all of my plants in my collection that were fully soaked with the nematode solution. So maybe that's why it didn't work as well as I had hoped. So if you're considering using beneficial nematodes for fungus gnats, I would definitely recommend that you wait with watering as many of your plants as possible before using the solution, because that's why I think it wasn't as effective for my plants, because I forgot not to water my plants. I feel like the logistics of it weren't as well thought out, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is totally on me. I'm not here saying that this product doesn't work, that these beneficial nematodes don't work, but um, they probably would have worked a little better if I had followed the instructions a little bit better. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna show you um, these sticky traps that I put out. I forgot to change them because, I don't know, I had other things on my mind. This one fell to the bottom of the shelf, so this one was kind of lost at the bottom of it all. But it still did catch some rogue fungus gnats. You can see a couple here. There's, oh, this is so sticky. Oh. There's a little bit more over here on this side, as you can see. And then uh, the other sticky trap got decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also see that it does have some fungus gnats on there. Um, so yeah, obviously these are adult fungus gnats. So these ones were already here alive and well before I introduced the nematode solution. But yeah, like I said, you know, I have noticed a significant decrease in fungus gnats, but 
I do still sometimes see one or two. I remember a couple of days ago I was taking a shower and then I was brushing my hair after the shower and there was a fungus gnat just hanging out in front of me on the mirror and I was like, aren't you supposed to be dead? And he was like, nah -ha! So anyway, <laughs> if you watch my video about fertilizers, you will know how much I hate having to dilute things and that was definitely the case with uh, the nematode solution as well. So the application isn't the most straightforward Forward. compared to that like the um, beneficial insects for thrips were a lot more convenient and a lot more easy to apply because you didn't have to dilute anything so I would have preferred that I think but you know ultimately like I would say yes it does work and it possibly works a lot better when you do <laughs> follow through on the instructions properly. I'm sure that I'm gonna have fungus gnats at some point again so I'm gonna try them out again and this time I'm gonna try to you know do it properly and we'll see if maybe then it will have a better effect. So yeah that's all of my experience with uh, fungus gnat beneficial nematodes. If you have experience with these please let me know down in the comments because I'd be curious to hear if um, you had maybe better experiences than me. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at Sir Plants a lot, all of that good stuff that you can do to help me accomplish my dream of not having to have a corporate job for the rest of my life so please do all of those things thank you <laughs> anyway that's gonna be it and i'll see you for my next video bye